Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 6.3 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 6.3 is entitled No Conscience. We have amongst people who are obsessible or possessible a disregard for the notions of right and wrong, in fact, of conscience altogether, and a tendency to perform abominable acts and to act in depraved ways, as they say in the school of theosophy. What does this say to us about the negative astral beings? Well, according to School of Theosophy teachings, the thing that distinguishes human beings from the animal realm is the addition of the subtle body known as a causal body. The causal body creates within us the ability to store karma, either good or bad. In that way, our souls either evolve or devolve. And so, the lack of conscience, the lack of concern for right and wrong, the tendency towards negative karmic acts, must be features of the negative astral being. In other words, how could they have a causal body they must not have a causal body because they have only the tendency towards negative karmic actions. And in people that they obsess or possess, they create a gradient of human behavior from good conscience at the beginning, the type of socialized conscience that most human beings have, on down the rungs of awareness of conscience to the total depravity of people who are extremely antisocial personalities. Those people are without conscience altogether. They act in whichever way their reptilian minds lead them. That could account for the fact that negative astral beings are sometimes thought of in reptilian terms because the behavior of the negative astral being is rather like the reptilian behavior of the lower minds of human beings. This dark interference with these dark sounds all around and repeating and moving from here to there is quite something else today, is it not? Dark interference happens. There was a geostorm yesterday and this could be a leveling out reaction of the neosphere and the magnetosphere to do with the dark energies still existing on Earth and the very bright light energies that came in yesterday. Here is an image entitled Mask Carved Out of Wood, Asian Region. This is a photo by Dominic Hundhammer, 2004, from Wikimedia Commons and its Creative Commons. This is how I imagine the soul of an anti-social personality to be. You can see very fearsome and very inhuman, very cruel, very animal-like. And I consider this to be the effect of invasion of by negative astral beings that obsess or possess our energy fields. Uh, this is 
This is the way they are in my understanding and this is how our energy field comes to look through long association with them. Not that appealing, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Here is a section entitled, Did Human Beings Evolve from Negative Astral Beings? It goes like this. Were human beings once negative astral beings whose DNA was somehow altered by the star beings so that they could have conscience? That is an interesting question. I think the answer to this is no. Negative astral beings must be a separate species altogether because amongst the animals that have physical or 3D bodies but no causal body here on earth there's a range of behaviors both what we could socially term good and what we would term bad. For instance some events the nurturing instincts and motherhood instincts as opposed to the predatorial instincts, which are what we socialized humans would consider less good here on Earth. So there is a mixture amongst Earth animals that have physical or 3D form. Thus it seems unlikely that the physical or 3D animals on Earth are derived from negative astral stock. As human beings are said to have evolved from the earth physical animal chain, it will follow that human beings are unlikely to have derived from negative astral stock. I have some reading suggestions for you to do with what may be unfamiliar terms in today's episode. One is a book called the Astral Body and Other Astral Phenomena, compiled by Arthur E. Powell in 1965. That book can be viewed online, but perhaps in violation of copyright. I'm not certain of that. The advantage of the electronic version would be that you might handily search for the word depraved or the word depravity. These words relate to the terms paraphilia and paraphiliac. Paraphilia in my website Awakening with Planet Earth is used not for what is termed kink sex but rather for the type of uh, sexual expression that leads people to break the law and to assault other people against their will. So I use it in a slightly different sense simply because I feel there ought to be a term for that. And the word paraphiliac in, in common usage could mean either a simple expression of various sorts of harmless uh, sexual preference or it, or it could mean these deeply difficult arenas of, of criminal sexuality. So on my website, if you see the term paraphilia or paraphiliac, I, I really mean something that, that needs to be looked into from the sense of uh, social issues and solutions found regarding it. Uh, to go on, I have one more suggested book for you called The Causal Body and the Ego, also by Arthur E. Powell. There's a particular chapter I have in mind. That's chapter 15, Functions of the Causal Body. This book is in the public domain at Theosophy World Resource Center. I'm letting you know that because it's sometimes difficult to find these books online or for sale. Um, so, 
That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.